Okay, we uh, are playing as the uh, Wheezy Santa again. Uh, unfortunately, we spawn in on Fractured Couch Head, which is, uh, according to the stats, uh, one of the most survivor-sided maps in the game. Uh, and I believe it, because uh, this map is very difficult to win on. Survivors do have the most escapes on this map. And, uh, you know, I really wish the uh, the developers of the game would balance these maps more. Uh, like stats show that uh, Midwitch has the most uh, kills, and uh, this map has the uh, most escapes. And uh, they don't use those stats really for anything other than just telling people, hey, you know, these maps are. These are the outcomes on these maps, and uh, it's, it's a shame they don't say, maybe we should look at these maps a little more, try to uh, balance them out, you know? Uh, no, they just, you know, they'll update the graphics like they did with this one. All farm maps uh, were updated a little while ago. Uh, in my opinion, they made the, uh, the aesthetics uh, ten times worse than what they were. The, uh, the corn is uh, extremely difficult to see through, even more so than before. So I do not like any of the uh, of the reworks they've done on these uh, on these maps. I find them to be uh, uh, rather annoying, in all honesty. And uh, they made these maps, like, during the day, which is really stupid. I don't know why they did that. I mean, it's called Dead by Daylight, but it's already daylight, and there are obviously people still alive, so... And it just it doesn't make any sense. So, I am definitely not a fan of how they uh, rework maps. They don't do anything to address the, the, uh, the balance issues. Uh, in many cases, they make maps uh, harder for killers than they were. And they uh, they make everything look fancy, but honestly, the map looked fine before. I don't know what the uh, what the issue was. I don't know. It seems like they uh, like to uh, waste a lot of time. From uh, how I see things. So... Um, we're doing all right so far. Um, I ran out of uh, Pinky Finger uh, add-ons, so I'm using Clown's uh, other iridescent add-on. The uh, is it uh, Tattoo's uh, middle finger? I think it's called, and it basically lets me see the uh, auras of uh, intoxicated survivors for a certain amount of time. It's an okay add-on. I don't think it's really worthy of a iridescent slot. It's not tremendously useful. It's kind of like uh, Race uh, purple add-on where he can see the uh, auras of survivors while he's cloaked within a certain range. So, yeah. I, I don't know why they made it a uh, iridescent add-on. It's really not, not that great. But a lot of... Uh, the problem with this game is a lot of the uh, iridescent uh, killer add-ons aren't that great. They, uh, they're they strong in some areas, but then they have uh, negative effects to them that really don't make them uh, worth running at all. So I will... Uh, I'll basically spend a lot more blood points on my survivor than I will killer because um, there are uh, brown and yellow add-ons that are very good on killer on a lot of killers and uh, once again it's just the uh, developers not understanding how their own game works so I feel like we need a, a fresh team of developers uh, working on this game or they need to uh, collaborate with some of the uh, more uh, skilled players in the community to uh, Kind of uh, show them, hey, you know, this is uh, this is how things really are in the trenches because they don't play at a high level. I know the devs don't play at a high level. It's really obvious. So if they had someone uh, who they were at least consulting with, 
uh, about what goes on, uh, you know, in the trenches, so to speak. I think this game would be in a lot better state than what it's currently in. Uh, the other add-on add -on I'm running is uh, Flask of Bleach, which uh, was also recently nerfed. It, uh, it hinders the... Uh, Gives an extra uh, hindered effect to survivors in the uh, intoxication cloud. It's all right. It's um, I really don't think it deserved a nerf, but whatever. And uh, once again, we are playing as the bad Santa. We equipped Franklin's demise. We're taking away all their items. Because, uh, you know, tis the season for, uh, for giving. And they should be giving me all their stuff. That's how that works. So, we, uh, we've lost three gens. We're not doing that very well. Uh, we have a few hooks on a few different people. Um... I think I need that, well, I don't know. Maybe I don't need that Jane as much as I need this, this tap. I don't know why she's hanging around. Um, okay, well, that will help us tremendously. <laughs> Once again, this looked like a, a really bad situation we were in until that happened. So I, I keep telling, I keep reiterating this and... Uh, keep going on about it, but it's so true. I don't know why survivors do that. Um, I don't know if he was on death hook or not. He might have been. But even if he was, he would have wasted my time uh, getting him to a hook. So even there, you can waste the killer's time a little bit. I don't know why they just disconnect like that. It is so stupid. It's the worst thing you can do for your team. It pretty much uh, guarantees I'll get another down within a very short amount of time. So, I don't know how many times I have to uh, keep reiterating that, but apparently I do because uh, survivors never learn. Yeah, we are in a, uh, okay, Steve is, uh, he's killing himself on foot, and that's another thing that, uh, I mean, come on, guys, this is Clown on Fractured Cowshed without the pinky finger add-on. Yes, I have Franklin's, big deal, I'm Clown. <laughs> it's not like I'm Nurse or Blight going around the, uh, the whole map at supersonic speed. I mean, come on. This is uh, this is pretty ridiculous. And it's pretty sad because they have a map that uh, should pretty much guarantee they escape. Now that was a nice direct hit, but as I said, I'm not running pinky finger, so it doesn't really matter. I think I'll... Yeah. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think a lot of uh, what happens in this game, um, the state of the game, is uh, the attitude of survivors. Uh, many of them feel that they are entitled to an escape, that they're entitled to uh, go up against weak killers. They're entitled to uh, maps that give them a, uh, a guaranteed escape. And when it doesn't happen, they uh, they throw a temp temper tantrum, they they rage quit, they DC, they whatever. And, uh, a lot, and then they'll take to the forums or Twitter or whatever and say, well, hey, killer OP, you know, I... 
I can't believe this game. It's it's so killer sided. And uh, what well, is if you uh, if you quit? I mean, sure. <laughs> if you're stupid enough to do that, uh, I just I I don't understand what the uh, what the mindset is of these survivors. Because obviously, I mean, we're at one generator, so we lost four gens. And this is Fractured Cow Shed. And even with that uh, tap D scene, I needed to go after that Steve. Because we're at one gen. Look where we are. And this is Clown. It's not like he's an S tier killer. So let's be, uh, let's be real here. You know, survivors should grow up a little. Oh, the KD seed too. Will Jane DC or will she get the hatch? Mm, direct hit. I don't even have pinky finger. I'm making all these direct hits and these people are still are still rage quitting. I hear the hatch. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give you a hatch. Why should I give you a hatch? You're, just because I feel sorry for you? No. <laughs> Your entire team rage quit because of a clown on fractured cow shit. One of the worst killer maps in the game. I will never understand these survivors. 